Join Kids Hat Family. Tia, look at that giant robot. Can I please buy it? I need one. Why do you need it, Tofu? You already have so many toys. But Tia, it's a limited edition robot toy. All my friends have it. Oh look, even that boy purchased it right now. But what is the need of doing what everyone else does? Tia, please. Oh, look Tofu. What happened, my dear friend? I wish to buy the whole toy shop some day when I grow up. You surely will one day. Oh wow. Your new toy is so cool. Thank you. Do you want to play with it? Yes. Yes. I would love to. Here, you can have it. What? I can keep your new toy? Yes, you can keep it. It's yours now. I just can't thank you enough. I never had a new toy in my life. People always gave me their old and broken toys. Well, you deserve a new toy too. This is yours now. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. May God bless you always. Did you see that tofu? That boy gave his new toy to the poor child and walked away so joyfully. Yes, dear. Do you want to hear a beautiful story about kindness as we walk home? That would be great. The purest treasure. Once upon a time, in a dense forest, there lived a poor gold miner named Jack. Every day, Jack would set out to work tirelessly, hoping to find some treasure that would change his life. One sunny day, just like any other, Jack sat down under a tall tree to enjoy his simple lunch of bread. As Jack started eating, he noticed a weak and hungry dog limping towards him. The poor pup had a sad expression in its eyes. Jack immediately felt a pang of sympathy for the dog and decided to share his food. He broke a piece of bread and gave it to the dog. The dog devoured the bread hungrily and looked up at Jack with gratitude. But it still seemed hungry. Jack's heart melted right there. Well, I can share the rest of my lunch with this little fellow. So Jack broke the remaining bread into pieces and handed them to the dog. The dog wagged its tail happily, appreciating Jack's kind gesture. After finishing the bread, the dog started barking and jumping around as if it wanted to show something to Jack. Curious, Jack decided to follow the energetic dog. The dog led him deep into the forest until they reached a hidden cave. Jack couldn't believe his eyes. The cave was filled with sparkling treasures of gold, silver and precious jewels. It was more than he had ever imagined finding. Overwhelmed with joy, Jack realized that he had been rewarded for his act of kindness towards the weak dog. He thanked the dog profusely and shared his newfound treasure with the loyal companion. From that day forward, Jack and the dog became the best of friends and lived a happy and prosperous life. That was such a sweet story, Tia. So what is the moral of the story? The moral of the story is that kindness is the purest treasure. That's right, Tofu. This story teaches us the importance of kindness and how it can lead to unexpected rewards. It encourages us to be compassionate and helpful towards others, as even small acts of kindness can make a big difference in someone's life. I will always keep this purest treasure with me, Tia. Very well, Tofu. Tia, mm, I need your help. Sure, Tofu. Tell me, what is it? 
Uh, I need to prepare a speech for tomorrow's assembly. But I just can't think of anything at all. And I am so nervous. Don't be nervous, Tofu. The speech won't determine your future. It is the lesson that you learn through the journey that matters. I don't understand, dear. Uh, what are you saying? Can you explain it better? Okay, let me tell you a story. Yes, please. Kai and the Firebird Once upon a time, in a faraway land, there lived a young boy named Kai. He was always curious and adventurous and he loved exploring the forest near his village. One day, while wandering in the woods, he stumbled upon a hidden cave. As he entered, he saw an old man with long white hair and a beard. The old man was dressed in a green robe and had a staff in his hand. Wow! Who are you? I am the wizard of the forest. And who are you, young man? I am Kai. I love exploring the forest and I have never seen you before. That is because I only reveal myself to those who have a pure heart and love for nature. Kai was thrilled to meet the wizard and asked if he could show him some magic. Of course, but first let me tell you a story. And so the wizard began to tell Kai a tale about a mythical creature called the Firebird. The Firebird is a bird of pure gold with feathers that shine like the sun. It lives in a far away land guarded by a fierce dragon. Anyone who could capture the Firebird would be granted a wish. Kai was fascinated by the story and asked the wizard if he could help him capture the firebird. I cannot do it for you, but I can guide you on your journey. You must first travel through the dark forest, cross the treacherous river and climb the mountain of fire. I will take this journey. I want to explore. And so Kai set out on his journey, determined to capture the firebird. He travelled through the dark forest where he encountered a mischievous elf who tried to trick him. But Kai used his wit and outsmarted the elf. Oh young boy, you must solve a riddle to go ahead on this journey. Tell me, are you ready? You either solve the riddle and go ahead or get trapped inside this thorn tree. I am as ready as ever. Tell me the riddle. Okay, here it is. The more of this there is, the less you see. Oh, that's easy. It's darkness. Very well, young boy. You may go ahead now. He then crossed the treacherous river where he met a beautiful mermaid who offered to take him to the other side. In return, Kai promised to help protect the river from pollution. Oh, sweet boy, you seem to be lost. I am not lost. I am just trying to figure out a way to cross the river and get to the other side. I can help you. I promise I am not like the mischievous elf. Really? Please help me cross the river then. That is so sweet of you. Come on. Get on this lotus leaf and I will help it float from underneath. Kai hopped on the big lotus leaf while the mermaid got under it and took him across the river. She swiftly took him across the river and onto the shore. Thank you, miss. You have been very kind to me. I promise to protect your river from pollution in return. Thank you, young boy. Keeping the river clean is the need of the hour. My kingdom would be so happy to hear this. Goodbye. Have a safe journey ahead. Goodbye, miss. Finally, he reached the mountain of fire 
where he encountered the fierce dragon that guarded the firebird. With the help of the wizard's magic, Kai was able to defeat the dragon and capture the firebird. As he held the golden bird in his hands, Kai realized that his wish was not to be granted. Instead, he felt a sense of accomplishment and pride for having completed such a challenging journey. He returned to the wizard who congratulated him. You have proved that with determination and a pure heart, you can achieve anything. From that day on, Kai became known as the hero who captured the firebird. He went on to use his knowledge and wisdom to help his village and protect the forest in every way he could. And so, the legend of Kai and the firebird was told for generations to come, inspiring many young adventurers to follow his footsteps. This story was awesome, Tia. Indeed. The moral of the story is that success comes not from the attainment of one's desires but from the journey and the lessons learnt along the way. Thanks Tia, I will always remember this lesson. Tia, I can't believe I lost my lucky charm. I've had it for years and now it's gone. Oh no, Tofu. Don't worry. Sometimes things like this happen for a reason. What do you mean? Well, sometimes we lose something important because it's time for us to let it go and move on to bigger and better things. But how am I supposed to move on without my lucky charm? Well, I have a story that might help. It's a story about a young prince who, like you, had lost something very dear to him. What did he lose? He lost his magic amulet, a gift from his late mother. The amulet had the power to grant him any wish he desired. Wow, that sounds amazing. What happened to the prince? The prince and his magical amulet. Well, the prince was heartbroken when he realized the amulet was gone. He searched high and low, but he could not find it. He began to lose hope and he became depressed and withdrawn. But one day, while walking through the forest, the prince came across a wise old owl. Hello, young prince. Why do you look so sad? Oh, wise owl. I have lost my magic amulet and I do not know how I will ever be happy again. Do not despair, young prince, for the amulet was not the source of your happiness. It was your own kindness, compassion and pure heart that truly made you happy. But how can I be happy without the amulet? The amulet may have granted your wishes, but it was your own actions that brought joy to others. You can continue to spread happiness and kindness even without the amulet. The prince thought about the owl's words and realized he was right. He had always found joy in helping others and he realized that he did not need the amulet to do so. So the prince set off on a journey to spread love and kindness throughout the kingdom. And as he travelled, he found that he was happier than he had ever been before. As he travelled, he encountered many people and animals in need of help. And with each kind act, the prince's heart grew fuller and happier. He helped an old man carry his heavy bags across the river. He saved a group of kittens from a burning barn. And he even taught a group of lost children how to find their way home. As the prince's reputation for kindness and compassion spread throughout the kingdom, more and more people and animals came to him for help. And the prince, with the help of his friends, was always there to lend a helping hand. 
But as much as the prince enjoyed helping others, he also missed his magic amulet. He often thought about where it might be and who might have it. One day, as the prince was walking through the forest, he heard a faint voice calling out to him. Prince, prince, can you hear me? The prince followed the voice until he came upon a small enchanted pond. And there, floating on the surface, was his magic amulet. Prince, I am so glad you found me. I have been waiting for you. Amulet, is it really you? I can't believe it. Yes, it is me, your magic amulet. I have been lost for so long, but I knew you would find me. How did you get here? A group of mischievous sprites found me and played a trick on me. They hid me in this enchanted pond. But now that you have found me, I can return to you and grant your wishes once again. Amulet, I don't need you to grant any of my wishes anymore. I have learned that happiness comes from within and I can spread joy and kindness to others without the use of magic. Oh Prince, you have truly grown and learnt the value of compassion. You no longer need me to grant your wishes for you have the power to make your own happiness. Thank you Amulet. I will always cherish you, but I think it's time for you to return to the gods. They are the ones who truly possess the power of magic. Very well, Prince. I will return to the gods, but know that I will always be with you in spirit, guiding and protecting you. The Prince thanked the amulet and sent it back to the gods. And as he continued his journey, he knew that he had the power to make his own happiness and the happiness of those around him. Wow, Tia! This was a really good story. I'm glad you liked it, Tofu. The moral of the story is that happiness comes from within and we can all spread joy and kindness to others no matter what we have or don't have. I see what you mean, Tia. I think I can be happy even without my lucky charm. I am sure you can, Tofu. You have a kind and pure heart just like the prince. Thank you for telling me such a beautiful story, Tia. For your favorite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Heart family. Subscribe here.